Bye everybody. Bye Sherry. I am just getting everything set up and ready. Hi Manu, hi Bug Bug. I forgot where I put my drink. So yeah, I managed to recover one of my older Subnautica saves because last time it died horribly. So we have a slightly, slightly different one. So switch over. Ta-da! So yeah, I actually can't remember what I was supposed to be doing in this game. It's been like a week and a bit, two weeks since I've played it. All I can remember is almost shitting myself last time when I saw that big ghost thing. So are you enjoying yourself in Croatia, Sherry? Is it weird being back? It always takes ages to load. One thing I hope oh, they fix when they come to the later patches for this game the actual load times and stuff for it. Alright, Manu, see you in a bit. doing it. I can hear it booting stuff up. Point Dave! I was just saying I managed to recover my save for this after it broke last time. So it is a very slightly different save but it's almost exactly the same because it was only a few minutes earlier. So I have an extra fish now. We've got a Bruner fish and a Kelly fish. Um, I think that's the only real difference. Still got the scanner room. Yeah, when I ended last time, I tried to boot back into the game and it literally just wouldn't load. Like it would crash on booting up the game or booting up the world so I went and luckily I've been backing up my saves on it but yeah I changed the submarine name for you as well so it's visible now but yeah I ended up playing a bit of Destiny and stuff instead but I can't actually remember what I was supposed to be doing here so How much? What's the depth on the little sub? Little sub is nine hundred. And I think big sub is the same. But yeah, I, I ended up having to get like a backup save and use the backup save instead. But it was a bit further behind. So big sub is also 900. So I need a couple more upgrades for it. 
what do we need for upgrades? <laughs> like I know where to pr find pretty much everything now. It's just that weird crystal thing I don't have. So we've got efficiency depth module one. So what do we need for depth module two? Is it on this thing? No. I do like this little storage thing you get in it as well to put my little submarine in. All systems online. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hi Kelly. You missed the intro bit. Look. We have Brina fish and Kelly fish now. Both in the same tank. Right. Modification station. Cyclops Mark II. We need three nickel ore. Where did I get nickel from? I can't remember. You here? Oh yeah, three nickel ore. And I need last steel, which is titanium and lithium, is it? Yeah, titanium and two lithium. We got two, three, four, five. I need five more titanium. So yeah, this is the restored save. So it went back in time a bit, but I've managed to get pretty much everything back to where it was. So I need more titanium. And then we will take the big sub on our journey. All systems online. Or do I make the mech? I'm pretty sure I'll have most of the stuff to make the mech as well. And I would much prefer to have the mech. Um, titanium. How is your internet now, Dave? Is it working properly or is it still a bit fucky? I need to go and get the depth module out of this, don't I? Dun, 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 dun. We'll have to come up with a name for the mech as well when I make it. So. Death module mark one, thank you. You can call it Susan. Alright, you were first in, we'll call it Susan then. Even though it looks more like a prawn than a snail. It's only weird people have pet snails. Is that something giving through the wall then? It was. So, make the scraps into titanium, make the titanium into an ingot, mix you with the lithium to make the thing, our steel, and then together we can make depth module 2. There we go. Where am I going? Wrong way. Whee. So yeah, we will make the mech and call it Susan then. 
just need to work out what we need to make the mech. Death module mark two. 1300 meters, nice. Turn these off. Um, where is our building platform thingy? Here it is. There's our rockets. Our rocket launch pad. That will also get built eventually. Vehicle bay. So, vehicles. Prawn suit. I need two plasteel, steel. Two aero gel. Um, a mix like a, like a walking suit. So I need plasteel and aerogel. I'm pretty sure I can make aerogel. Because I have like the mushrooms and stuff here. So the mech, Kelly, is that thing in the middle. That's what the mech looks like. In fact, I might have a poster of the one that we're making. There, the one that we're making is going to look like that. That's a mech suit. So, aerogel. How do we make aerogel? Gel sack and a ruby. Oh, that's easy. I've got all of that. Yeah, power armor is like mech suit is basically big power armor. Right, so I need. I've got two rubies. I've got two gel sacks. That gives us two aero gel. So now I need more plasteel. Where's my aero gel? Uh, da, 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 da. Prawn suit. So we got aero gel. I need two plasteel ingots. So that's more. I'm gonna need four lithium. How much have I got at the moment? I don't think I've got four. Oh, I do. I've just got four, so I need just some more titanium then. So I need ten. Now to actually use the scanner room, because I can tell it to scan for salvage. And this will tell me roughly in what direction I can find salvage. Or it should do. Apparently I can also make like a like a display that will show my screen for this as well. So let's go get some metal salvage. And we shall make Susan. All Lagged a bit then. Online. Right, so it was in this direction. Any salvage around here? None that I can pick up. Hi Tempsy. <gasps> Have fun Dave, I'll be watching that later. And enjoy your Chinese food as well. Captain Tipsy. 
How did your lesson go? Did you survive it? There it is. Although I need to be careful around this area. This is where the big angry eel can live. <laughs> Herbal tea is a good shout. I do quite like ginger tea. There we go. This should be round about enough. So I'm in the process of making myself a mech suit to put in my big submarine. Maybe I can't fit through that gap. Oh, what I did find the other day, if you want it, Kelly. I found my uh, tin whistle that I got in Ireland. If you want to learn a stereotypical Irish instrument instead. So, titanium ingot. There we go. Oh, I need one more, typical. Hi back. Manu, I decided I'm going to make the mech suit so I can have a mech as well. And Kelly got there first, so it's going to get called Susan. So we have the Combobble, the Yifkch, and then we're going to have Susan as well. Yeah, I've got a couple of upgrades for it. I've got like a drilling arm and some else, so they're going to come in handy. This way. I already have my food supply and stuff sorted, so when it works, let's have some melon instead. There. Are... Why do you not want to work? There. Om nom nom. Right, we need... Another titanium ingot. Manu has lots of wives and husbands. She's just working her way through the list, Kelly. <laughs> So we have two plasteel and two aerogel. What else do I need? Enameled glass, diamond and lead. Right, I've got plenty of diamonds. Do I have two lead? No, I've only got one. So I need some lead and some quartz. And some teeth. Right. 
Where do I find lead? Beep. Uh, what? I have to check. Uh, where's the thingy gone? Another accidentally taken screenshot. Oh yeah, we got another radio message while I was getting my stuff back up to date. So yeah, that's the, the cool radio message I got. Oh. I need... Is it sandstone I need again? Yeah, sandstone for lead. Oh yeah, they wouldn't give me the um, the vaccine, even though it was booked in. So they said, because I am myself, I'm not classed as vulnerable, even though I am living with people who are, um, I wasn't eligible. So they said I have to wait for a letter to, before I'm allowed to get it. So it would be different if I was like registered as a carer. Then I'd be able to get it. But yeah, apparently it can let people book it in, but they will just say you're not eligible if you don't meet certain criteria. It's stupid. to repair before this thing starts breaking again. Yeah, there are a few people there being turned away who'd like bucked it in. <gasps> Naughty. Copper. On, give me sandstone. It's quartz. I'll need quartz anyway. And I'm sure the big angry eel thing is around here somewhere, so... I'm sure that's him I can hear. Oh, is it because she didn't use the number on your letter, Kelly? It's probably why they told me to bugger off then. <laughs> Sandstone. Give lead, please. Lead. So I've got two lead. Now I just need enameled glass. And enameled glass is quartz and those teeth things, is it? So it's two quartz and a tooth. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense though, like, if you're vaccinated most of a household already, you think you'd just do the entire household and then that's like a, what do you call it, like a vector removed, like that one vector from infection basically stopped because that entire household is immune to it instead. Could be quartz around here somewhere. There always is in this red stuff. Hello.
there is some quartz. Bow, bow, bow. Right. Now we need a stalker tooth. So where was it they were usually playing around? Because I could just drop some metal in front of them and hope one of them bites it. Here. Where's a chunk of metal? Here. So yeah, plan is for mech suit this stream. And then, because the, I had just upgraded the big submarine, so the big submarine can go really far down. And what I'm thinking is I will stock the big submarine up with building materials and then build a base down at the bottom where I saw that. Do you know down in the brine sea where we saw the big tree and near the big monster and stuff. Oh they are fighting that's why. I'm going to build like a second base down there. Yeah, where the giant bones are. So I'll take the big submarine down there and with a load of supplies in it and build a second base down there. Well, that is the plan. Yeah, evil there. Because the mech has like a drill arm. And there's big deposits that look like that, where I can get stuff with the drill arm. So I can use all those for supplies and stuff while I'm there. Right, where's the stalkers gone? I want to play fetch for a bit and get a tooth. This way, there's one. Hey you, look what I've got, look what I've got, look what I've got. Catch. Oi! Leave my submarine alone. Maybe I need to drop it further up so they can see it properly. Yeah, I can hear you coming for me, but Put that back up. Can I drop the toy for you? Pick it up. Yeah, that is a, a real life effect, I think it's called the compression effect or something like that because sound travels better through water oh, tooth straight away, handy yeah, sound travels better through water so smaller life forms and quieter noises actually travel a lot better and sound a lot louder tooth This should be everything to make the mech, and then I can look at upgrades for it. So I need to make glass, then enameled glass. Is that everything? It is going to get me a mech. I'm 
remove this first, though. There. Now make me a mech, please. Oh yes. Piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. We. It's cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, oh, punch things. Does it have a jump or anything? Oh, it's got like boosters. This is cool. Oh yeah, like the... When you first pick up diamonds and it says you're like... 6 billion in debt or something and all the diamonds belong to them. So we'll try and put you in the docking bay here, shall we? Can I do this? Go up. Go up. Ah, oh, it's so heavy. I ran out of boost. At least it doesn't seem to take fall damage or anything. But it does lose power quite quickly. Do it. Yeah. Right, so. Ron suit. Doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Oh, do I have to put it in the other one to actually modify it? That just accesses its storage. That just accesses the the parts of it. Right, and you have to put it in the actual thingy bay over here. But this is cool. And I'll need to make like the drill arm and stuff for it. So you could just go over here for now. So this thing starts out with 900 meter depth. So. There we go. So Kelly got there before everybody else, so it's being called Susan. You're okay, Manu. Now, what colours do we make it? So the name can stay black. We've got a base colour, an interior and a stripe on it. So we can make it all sorts of colours. How about make it yellow to match the, the big yellow submarine? <laughs> green and orange for Paddy's Day. Right, we'll make the interior green. And then we'll make the stripe on it orange. There we go. So 
So all the stripes and stuff are orange. The interior is green. And the exterior is yellow. So now I need upgrades and stuff for it. So... Death module mark one. I need two rubies. Plasteel ingot, three nickel ore. Uh, crystalline sulfur. We've not got any of that, but that'll be near volcanoes. Got a grappling arm and a drill arm. So they're the ones we're going to want to make. See you in a bit, Tamsi. So we'll make the drill arm. Which is titanium, lithium, and four diamonds. Which I should have, actually. Dun, 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 dun. So. Or did I use all my lithium? So I've got four diamonds. Nickel. Oh, I did, I used it all. Um, right, titanium and lithium. Where did I get those from? It was... Make you orange. Not limestone, is it shale? Yeah, lithium. So, we shall get little submarine. And go looking for lithium. I need to go find the walking ones again. Like the striders or whatever they were called, they had them. They were the ones that left like shale deposits behind them. Yeah, that's my bed. In my little observation bubble. And my tiny model of our ship as well that exploded. So there we have tiny model ship and then over that way we have big exploded ship. <laughs> but yeah, you made it in like a little cool glass bubble where I could see our big submarine and our rocket platform as well, which is still done. Still being built. So, striders were... Is it just straight west? I'm pretty sure it was straight west. West of the striders. But, I did bring... Yeah, the depths are scary enough already. Natural lighting. Hi, oh, Sean. I have just made myself the mech suit, so I am going getting upgrades for it. Or trying to, anyway. I've just got to remember where to go. So I think it was this the way we found the the giant strider things. And they left shale behind them. Which was where we'll find all the rubies and stuff we need. We've got some more broken bits of ship. Yeah, that's when I've been in the doors got open. So we head straight west. Past the big, cool reef leviathans. These are still my favourite by far. They're just giant chill leviathans. They move slow enough that reefs can grow on the back of them. <gasps> this one still has his barnacles as well. Copper! You only got the one. Ah, oh, there's another one there. And buy again. So it's straight west. So this is the way 
down. Is this what leads to all the weird routes? Yeah, it is. So. I am going to take this opportunity to leave a beacon, because I made some, finally. Deploy the beacon. Seek fluid intake. Uh. And now I just need to rename it. And we shall call you... Um... Trench. So that's what it looks like. And... Did I bring any water? I didn't. I'm going to have to go back to base and get water and stuff. <gasps> Hi, Beth! Oh no, I'm going to have to say it in front of Sean now, who could probably pronounce it properly. But the name of the town is... I need to actually make some water before I go exploring because I forgot to eat and stuff. So we'll go this way. How was work, Beth? Do you survive alright? Get back to base before I die. A joke. Hello. Happy Friday. Right. Where did I put the entrance? Well, it's over here, isn't it? Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, Arox is lovely like that. So we have wild melon, wild melon, and then stab this one, and plant them again. But you too. We've got big fancy tree. I'm lovely. <gasps> We're not carrying around alien poo. I've put the alien poo in the locker where it belongs. <laughs> Such lies. Nasty to me heart. So, copper can go back in this one so I don't mix up with the gold. Right, need to make some water. I've got... Yeah, the cat poster. It's cool. got salt and I need the tube coral stuff <laughs> yeah this is my first time playing it since the alpha for the game and there's so much different from the alpha so there's a lot of stuff I'm like having to learn again
Although, the release of Below Zero, like official release of Below Zero is soon as well. If not, like in the next few days. Right. Um, oh yeah, I should check the batteries. <laughs> so, you're out of battery. 74. You're 94. 96. 33. So you're on zero, nine six, no battery. There. And then we put the low battery in there, cool. There. Yeah, below zero should be. Uh, below zero is a a separate game. Um, it was originally going to be DLC, but they ended up making it into an independent game. It's based on the same planet, but it's like a, an entirely different story. But there are a lot of above ground segments as well because you're in the frozen north and apparently you learn a lot more about the aliens in it as well like the alien species that was doing experiments and stuff on this planet but beacon will make beacon this orange Like there's, I know there's a few different submarines in it as well. There's like a like a cargo submarine kind of thing. Right. I'm pretty sure it was straight re straight west out to the tripod guys. So I'm just going this way. Yeah, I'm hoping they've add, added some more interesting gameplay stuff as well. I will be playing it once I get the chance. So this is... like the flats bit. This is the Trent. So we just keep heading west. So we have the shark. And then we have, oh yeah, this bit with the, the volcanoes. With the rubies. I need rubies. Yeah, the giant angry eels, the reapers always make me nervous. I, I do actually have a submarine that is. Leviathan class. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Yeah, there was a. Uh, the Reaper Leviathan outside the ship surprised me. And while running away, I managed to ground my first little sea moth. So my, my first sea moth is currently grounded 
somewhere near the rear end of the ship. Right. Oi. So what have we got? We've got more lithium. We've got six rubies. Is there any more lithium around here? That thing is cool. Any more lithium? Yeah. Sharks. <gasps> it's one of the warper thingies. So, warpers are always around the alien tech, if I remember right. Yeah, 600 meters up a lot, and you can get screwed. Oh, it's the trench. That's why it was here. Right. I think we've got the stuff we need for the, the arm. Where's my construction bits gone? So prawn suit. Why that music? See the music makes me nervous as well. I'm gonna head this way a bit. So the arm, drum jet upgrade needs that sulfur stuff. Uh, drill arm, lithium, titanium and diamond. And grappling arm with benzene and stuff. And then depth module needed the ruby and the nickel. So I should have been Commit the drill arm at least. crash into every fish in existence on the way back. Yeah, this isn't why I'm allowed. This is why I'm not allowed to drive in games. 
And I'm just bad at it. Right, so. Bits we need to make. Drill arm, four diamond, five titanium. So we've got put the other lithium in here. Two, three, four. Put rubies in this one. I'm going to leave that nickel at some point as well. Yeah. <laughs> Crash into everything and then just get your repair tool out and slap it a couple of times, good as new. Right. Uh, I need more titanium. I just blind. I am blind. There it is. Just need a couple of metal scrap because I am too lazy to break it out of all the limestone stuff. These aren't scraps that I can pick up. Metal scraps, please. Where are you? I can just scan some stuff here. Give me titanium. Oh yeah, that's something that's in the below zero is apparently scanning stuff gives you some of the components you need to make that thing rather than it just giving you some spare titanium. So like, scanning the bioreactor there, it would actually give me bits I need to make a bioreactor. Right, that should be enough titanium. Dun, 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 dun. Let us know. Right, so, we are making drill arm. Sweet. Now, where does the drill arm get attached to it? Ah, there, it's got special slots. So, we've got the drill arm now. What other one do I make? Grappling arm, that sounds like a good one. Lithium, advanced wiring kit, benzene and titanium. Hmm. Let's 
So I think I've got a lithium. Hi Manu. So I need lithium. How do I get benzene? Yeah, they're good out there. Blood oil. I'm sure I had some blood oil. Oh, I needed three. I've only got two. <gasps> yeah, chocolate limes. I sent them some uh, hobnobs as well, Beth. Chocolate hobnobs. And some pear drops. So, to make... Benzene, I need one more blood oil, which means I can go and use that beacon I put down, because that's where the blood plant thingies are. Food. I keep forgetting food. There. So yeah, this is mainly going to be a stream of me collecting and upgrading things. Right, beacon towards the trench. that I just go straight this way yeah that's the one I've been in <laughs> sounds like a plan Beth tell me what you wants me to get and I'll put it together and send it off. Right, so... These are the blood plant thingies, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I was thinking of the right ones. So... Blood oil. Blood oil. Give more blood oil. Because I need three to make one of that thing, so five, let's get six. Thank you, Brina. Thank you for the gift subs. You're too kind. Oh, look who got them as well. Sean got one. Kira got one. Bunny Mama got one. Captain Tamsi got one. And Greg the Boomer got one. Thank you, Brina. Subs for the sub guard. to use that there 
I've got sonar on this thing, I keep forgetting. Sonar effect is so cool as well. What have you been up to today then, Brina? Have you been studying again? Welcome Did you manage to go out for another flight? Because you said you were gonna... You were trying to get one booked in, weren't you? Benzene. So I got benzene. Cool. Huh? Right, so I have drill arm or grapple arm. I need. I've got the benzene. I need lithium, five titanium, and, and an advanced wiring kit. So, your nickel, your lithium, five titanium, advanced wiring kit. <laughs> advanced wiring kit is oh it's this again right so I need a normal wiring kit which is two silver dump all of you in the special bag for now so you're all together so two silver first for A normal wiring kit. I only have one silver. And I need a computer chip which is gold, copper wire and table coral. I might have all that. Uh, some gold. Get some copper. Yeah, benzene's uh, combustible. Uh, I don't have any table coral samples, apparently. Now, Brina just stands behind the, the planes and inhales the engine fumes. Got a computer chip. I need. I've got two gold. I need another piece of silver for a normal wiring kit. And silver is in sandstone. With the uh, um, yeah, lead, silver, and gold. <laughs> oh yeah, they're the giant skeletons we saw at the bottom of the trench. Or the bottom of the brine sea, I should say. So you're the giant tree where I'm going to build my base. Fancy feather things. And the shells. Right. Um, so I need to find more sandstone for silver. Here are my two pets. They don't have names yet. But I might put another egg in there soon and see what can hatch. 
Right. Silver means sandstone. Huh. We need repairing already. Right. Give me sandstone. all the sandstone hiding. Oh, it's against this bit, isn't it? With a big angry eel just over that way. But yeah, I can hear it. Show me the sandstone! I will have a coffee if you are getting one, Kelly. Hi, Alex. I am still hunting for bits to upgrade my mech. Right, so your limestone. You are. See, that's what I can drill with the mech. The big deposits like that. You are more limestone. <gasps> nice. <laughs> more limestone. Come on, where's all the sandstone hiding? There's one. Give me silver. Gold. Gold will still be useful. But silver would be nicer at the moment. Give me silver. Silver. Yeah, I have bought a couple of bits for the the twenty four hour stream. So I am getting some stuff ready for it. Like the day before I'm probably gonna go out and buy a bunch of energy drinks and snacks and stuff as well. here. Right, so we were building grappling arm and I needed the server for a wiring kit. So if I make a standard wiring kit I can now make an advanced wiring kit. Get some food while I'm here. There we go. Did I have any med packs stashed? I didn't.
Ah oh, well, I will make some later. So I've got the advanced wiring kit. Put the gold back in there. So to make the grappler arm. Benzene, 5 titanium and lithium, which should all be in my little bag now. Two, three, four, five. Lithium, benzene, sorted. But now we have the grapple arm and the drill arm. Right, let's see how these work. So that's the grapple arm, is it? Oh, <gasps> it's just a suction cup. I can Spider-Man swing my way around. Cool. And then this is the drill. Okay, this is officially the best thing ever. We. I'm just going to spider man it around. Yeah, this is cool. If I just need to get up a hill or something, I can just go. And up we go. And I have my drill arm in case I need to. I wonder if it works on this. Nothing gone in my inventory. What about the storage on this thing? Nah, nothing in it. Stash some water in there in case I need it. <laughs> yeah, until something picks it up and tears it in pieces. Probably a good thing the uh, regular prawn suit pilots need their training to overcome the feeling of invincibility. Right. So, what was next on the list? Depth module. Two ruby, three nickel, and a plaz stealing gun. So, we've got two rubies, we've got two nickel, but I have almost enough to make a plaz stealing gun. So, let's grab some titanium while we're here. Let's grab some titanium and make the plastic we got. Then we'll have to go in search of nickel. Nickel will be shale deposits, which means I'll actually have to find where the walkers were because I can't remember. I know it was just straight in one of the cardinal directions to meet them. And I know it wasn't east because that's where the ship was. I'll just have to remember which direction it was supposed to be. There is some metal scraps. Oh, 
More metal scraps. <laughs> oh, imagine. At least it's possible to grapple your way up that way up. So I imagine you just used the like boosters on it and then fired and then used the boosters and fired. Just repeated until you made your way up. See what it will do though. New power cell in this. Or charge it up. Right, so we need depth module for This we need three nickel ore and a plasteel gut. <laughs> so you're literally just like hanging from the little like little suction cup thing waiting for your bar to go back up. Oh, I need two lithium. Got plastic and up. depth module for prawn suit. Two rubies. I need another piece of nickel ore. I wonder. Right, so you're the power cell charger. Make to make a power cell, we have to make two batteries and then mash them together. Yeah, acid mushroom to copper ore. And get two batteries and silicone rubber. How much copper do I have? One. Blech. Tell you what, we'll grab these two. Grab some silicone rubber, which is made from seeds. I think. Yeah, it is. And we shall make a brand new power cell. So we'll... I keep running too far forwards. I shall pop this power cell in my little submarine. What's in the storage on you? Oh. First aid kit and a spare power cell. Cool. Let's get some food and then we will head out. Because I remember something being underneath the floating islands. It may have been something important, I can't remember.
Right. So I'm going to head to the floating island and head down because heading straight east seemed to be a bust. So we'll head this way, southwest. So remember something about going to that island and then just going straight down. So we will see what's there. And the thing I am after is... Nickel ore. But I will grab whatever else is there until I'm full. Yep, these are the things I was looking for. The floating balls. So See, there's sulfur on here, but I don't think we'll find any crystalline sulfur. Even though these are volcanic vents. Like there's rubies. Great big copper deposit. So, island is that way. The creepy music kicks in. Look, it's one of the friendly guys. Like the ghost rays or whatever they're called. That is a warper. Your warpers are not friendly. Right, so, we're looking around here for the bit where the big tripod things live. This is a cave. You are big nasty. We shall go the other way from you. Because you are big and nasty and I want nothing to do with you. Mm. This way. Yeah, you stay over there. Fuck that, I'm going nowhere near that thing. I am bitching out like a sensible person. Right, so we're pretty much underneath the island now. So if I remember correctly, I've pretty much just got to go straight down. Yeah. And in this direction somewhere, there will be the big tripod guys. I'm going to say straight west. Just because. It gives me an easy direction to follow. This looks like the area. Hello. Mr. Tripod. There is some poop I'm in the right area. 
Oops, these guys did drop poop. Another warper as well. Oh, God. I am seriously going to get that torpedo upgrade for this at some point. Just see if I can't kill one of those warpers. Oh. This is where these guys live. I'll tell you what. I'm going to put a beacon down. Because I made beacons, because I remembered. And we shall call this... No. Tripods! There. Now we have a beacon. And what I need to do is go down to where their footsteps were, because... Shale! Diamond. Don't need diamond, I've got shit tons of it. Gold! Diamond. Lithium. Poop. So, don't really need gold. I've got shit tons of gold. And diamonds. What I need is lithium, and I need nickel as well somewhere. So, check the geology bit. Nicolore. Potential for advanced fabrication, and then shale has lithium in it. Gold. Diamond. He didn't like that. So stay away from the front of them. Lithium. Diamond. Is that a piece of copper? Gold. Oh great, well we'll get a few of these and then we'll go in search of nickel. I might have to go down into the trench to find the nickel up, to be honest. How much have we got? Yeah, we've got a fair amount there. The poop will come in handy for our base, because our base runs on poop. And then we go when we go down to the really deep bit, there is the... Uh, Uranium. We can build a nuclear reactor for it. Oh, this one's still here, stuck in the floor. Poor thing. So. We got... Just head down. Try and find ours. The way into the trench. Because there's bound to be one here. And once we're in the trench, we could probably find nickel. If I stop crashing into things. Here we have more volcanics. Any nickel around here? Doors 
doesn't look like it. Eh. But there is another warper here. Deep sea dung. Not only is that dung, Wayne, we also have this dung just for you. Right. <laughs> What are you? Are you lead? Are you nickel? What you're lead? Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, let's head in this direction then. Oh no, we're here with the angry squids. Uh, leave me alone. Another angry squid. Oh shit, an MP3, or EMP. Ooh. Reboot, get out of here. Find way down. This way. Does this way lead to the brine? Yes, it does. Fuck whoever decided to give those things MP EMPs. Bleh. Right, so I need to find more nickel. I'm sure, it's going to be down here somewhere. This is where all the big bones are. Yeah, just knock out your submarine for a few seconds while one of them comes after you. What was that? Oh, is that crystalline sulfur? Now, I'm in the brine. Which I know for a fact is deadly, but can I nip out and back in quick enough? Oh shit, that does a lot. Yeah, let's not try that again. Good thing I brought first aid kit. First aid kit. Now, where to get nickel? Oh, this is the place I found before and I forgot to bring the orange thing again. Right, you're next time. Next time, remember the orange thing. Yeah. 
you are infected. No, no alien secrets this time. It is the second time I have forgotten to bring the orange thing. Where am I going? You lead up back up to the bulb things, so... I have gone round in a small circle. <laughs> Oi oi oi! What's going on here then? Back for real. Hi back! Right there is the big angry ghost thing next to the giant dead thing. So, oh. I need to look for the exit with the tree. I think they're called ghost leviathans, like the big ones, but I have not gotten daring enough to try scanning one yet. Yeah, big dead thing. Next to big ghost thing. On top of big poison thing. Need more your... You look like weird coral. Can I break a bit? Oh, it's just regular table coral. I'm building my base down here eventually, Manu. We have more alien structures. Is this the big fallen over one we found? Yeah, it is. Yeah, down here there is like a actually a nice bit with a big tree. And I'm gonna build a base there. I'm just getting some upgrades for stuff before I do. And then we will move the big submarine down there full of supplies. I just need to find some nickel. I will show you it is this tree. This is actually the place I was looking for as well, because this is what, where I found the supplies I wanted. So this is the big tree. And I'm going to build my base like over that way, because there's a way down over here that we saw before. Oop. Up a bit. So like we've got volcanic bits, so we can get volcanic power if we want it. But we also have this bit that goes down even further. So I'm thinking building a base around here. This like nice little flat bit. Stop it. So let's go around here, see if I can find the stuff I need for the depth upgrade, which is nickel. So you are sandstone. Bloop. See, like you've got big deposits like this, which you need the drill to get at. What are you? Magnetite. 
more magnetite. Water, water everywhere. Not a dwop to dwink. Oh, you're like a little waterfall that goes off that edge bit. More a magnetite. Your nickel, you are what I need. And these mantas are cool, I like them. Scan one. Oh, you're what's making the sounds as well. Come here and let me scan you. Ghost Ray. They're nice and friendly. Even that one there that's sick. He seems to have the same disease thing that my character's got that we're trying to fix. Nicolor. Have I got all the nickel I need now? I needed three, didn't I? And I already had one. We shall get some more, just to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Right. Uh, uh, go up. What I will do though, is put one of my other beacons here. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Yeah, I can send some like Yorkshire pudding mix or something. Um, tree base. There. So next time I'm down here, I can just look for the beacon. Yeah, that's a good plan. Go for a roasty. Right. Let's explore these other little bits. See if I can't get some more nickel. I've already got some of this stuff because I can grow it. We got nickel ore. Fancy spare bedroom. You are you're in the night thingy. It is lithium and nickel that I want. You are sandstone. Gold. There we go. More nickel. I'm just going to fill my pockets with nickel and then go back to the circuit surface. Because everything else is pretty much sorted. And if I bring the bronze suit down here, like I can drill all these things for supplies. If I need them. Oh, 
like this, like a giant one of lithium. We'll pick up some magnetite just in case we need it for anything. I'm sure I saw something it was useful for. Do, 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 do. Like you've got that thing there of you in the night. That could power my base for days. D D D D D D One more piece. So, now we head back to base. Ah, uh, nobody's replied yet, Beth. Maybe they're scared of you. And I will actually remember to use my sonar this time. Make it easier to find my way out. Beth was saying when she gets her house, Manu, she will have a st spare room, so if you decide to come and visit us up north, you can stay at Beth's house. Lots of people are scared of Beth. So if I head this way... <laughs> Poor Bart. So if I remember right up this way past this thing is where one of the, yep the evil octopus guys fuck you but i know where to find the crystalline sulfur now so oh just out of range fuck you And then we have the blood plants, and at the blood plants I can just go up. There we go. So what I will do is put another beacon here. Have I got another beacon? Eh! Broke a bit of the ship as well. If I haven't done this bit before, I don't think I have. Because there are scannable bits. Right. Repair you first, because you're going to need it. Get me scanner out. Hi, Finray. Oh, you're from Greg. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing you. Uh, was it you who was racing him on Mario Kart the other day? Same time Arux was. Yeah, I saw. Poor Greg. <laughs> He'll get better eventually.
Right, so here's a broken chunk of the ship, which means there should be more of it here somewhere. Because I can't get inside this bit. Maybe some has fallen down. Or can I get in underneath? Oh, I can get inside. Is there anything scannable in here? Sonar upgrade for the Cyclops. That will do. This bit is blocked off. This bit is... Not blocked off. What else do we have? Your nuclear reactor fragment. Oh yeah, I can now make the nuclear reactor. Perfect. So I will make a nuclear reactor when I make my base down here. Got more nuclear reactor bits I'm guessing. Bench. Clutterable door. <laughs> yep. You can do TTS with bits. You can do TTS with uh, channel points as well. Right. Is there any useful stuff in here? Does not look like it. This is TTS. Yep. This is TTS. We have this that has now in it. This that has now in it. That door was completely worthless. Apart from maybe this. Although I should probably find my way out before I drown. Seconds. Yep, I know. Let me remember my way out. I can remember the way out. Um, yeah, let's go out here. Take me to my submarine. Boom, just in time. <gasps> fork knife. Beth is also trying to get me to play fork knife. So, there are more broken bits of the ship. <laughs> yeah, close. Nuclear reactor fragment. Yeah, I've already got plans for it. Is there anything further down? Yeah, I've done it before where, like, my character's been in the process of blacking out. When I've managed to get in the submarine, so it is possible. Oh, another broken bit of the ship. So there is more of it down here. Are you more reactor bits? Yeah, you are. So down we go. Cause I've got a feeling. Yep. Even more broken ship bits down here. Just gotta stay away from the electric boy. So we've got a big stone. Doesn't look to be anything. How scandal. can Ariel wears seashells? SJ think, because B shells are too small and D shells are too big, pride laugh. <laughs> Alright, that's a good one. Egg. And then this is the way down. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Right, doesn't look like there's any more useful bits of the ship. So let's go back to base and get some of these upgrades done, shall we? Did I actually have another beacon? Or was I imagining it? I was imagining it. Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, I know. Fortunately, food is one of the things I didn't bring with me. Splat. And sharks. Ah, yeah, so my trench mark is basically just at the other end of it. Cool. Right, we are back to the base. Time to make some of these fancy, fancy, fancy upgrades. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we were making the depth module, weren't we? Yeah, no. Poop can go in there. Do we need any more in the poop reactor? No, not yet. Oh, nickel, nickel, nickel. No. Sulfur in there, put some diamonds in there, put some gold in there. Right. Food and drink first. There we go. Right, so we are making depth module mark one. What else did I need for it? So I needed... Yeah, I've got everything else in the bag, don't I? Whop it. Dee 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 dee. There. We'll dump that at some point.
And now we can make Death Module Mark 1. Thirteen hundred meters, cool. So this will have Mark Two needs that crystal thing that we don't have. So are there any other upgrades I can make for it before we load everything into the big submarine and head off to make a new base. Uh, hull reinforcements. Uh, engine efficiency. Storage module. Depth thermal reactor. Needs those crystals. Jump jet upgrade needs crystalline. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I will be be right back a second when I while I nip to the loo. Then we will get a bunch of tight night. Hi Danny. I have just finished upgrading my mech for now anyway. But what I'll do is we'll start loading stuff into the big submarine out there. And we will head down into the deep depths to make a base down there as well. In the meantime, I will be right back. I'll be there in a few minutes.
Hi everybody. Stop. What was the other upgrade we were going to look at? If any. So I think... We've got all the stuff we could make easy enough. Drill arm, grappling arm, jump jet, thermal reactor. Bart dropping more on the fork knife challenge. So we will go and put this guy in the big submarine. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. And then hi back. We will start loading up this submarine with supplies to go down into the trench. So turn you off. How are we doing for power in this guy? 153, 200, 195, 200, 178, 200, yeah, we're all good. Right, let's go hunting Titanites. We're going to need a bunch of the stuff. Because we're going to be building a base down there. Right, what's in your know, the upgrades? What's in storage? Yeah, just a spare power thingy. Right, put you in there. Do we have any. Say Titanite. We've been playing Dark Souls, it's titanium, isn't it? Titanium. So, two bits of titanium. Let's go get more. Because there's like lockers on the big submarine. So, I kind of just want to fill those lockers with supplies before I go down. And once they're filled with supplies, we can start building the base. So, you will do. I should also check what's actually needed for the nuclear reactor. Now I've got the thingies for it. The other sonar upgrade. Yeah, you can get external lighting and there's decorative stuff as well. Which I was just looking for actually. So Nuclear reactor, lead advanced wiring kit, plus stealing got. Cool. Um So yeah, you can get spotlights and floodlights to go on the outside of it. Thermal plants. Sorted. So I just need to build, get a bunch of titanium for now. But yeah, I'll put some floodlights and stuff on the outside of it when we're down there. Probably not going to be as big as that base because it's just going to be like a, a waypoint. But I am going to grow stuff there and have a bed and everything in it. Oh, I crashed into myself. <laughs> Is there any more scannable stuff around here or just bits I can pick up? Yes, there is.
Is this a door I've not been in as well? Where's the culture? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I will expand it eventually because I'm sure all the actual end game stuff I need is going to be down there. So. You're all good. And hi, Katie. How was your Chinese? Dev said you were getting takeaway. We're going to have to come back to this bit, any, bit at some point anyway, because this is where we've built the rocket platform. So, let's turn all this into actual titanium. Welcome aboard, oh, I learned a new advanced material, reactor rod. So that's what I will need for nuclear reactor. Lead, titanium, glass, uranite crystals. Right, let's start filling up. Oh yeah, Katie, Dave named the submarine. It was Dave's idea to call it that. Right, so lockers. There we go, so there's a bunch of titanium, let's start moving all the other stuff over. It was whoever said something first in chat. And Dave was one of the first, so... Let's grab... Uh, lead. Gold. Diamonds. Lithium. Ruby. Magnetite. Nickel. Yeah. Kelly is here with my coffee delivery. Yeah, it's why my uh, my other submarines also have stupid names because Kelly named those. Uh, we will take the ion cubes. In fact, we'll take all of this stuff. Yeah, her and my mum have been to Starbucks and she has nicely brought me one back. So, let's get loaded up. That bearded bear looks so dumb. Right. So, we'll just put... Magnetite. In this one we will put all of this. So one, two, three, four. And then five. So that should be enough to fit all of my metal stuff in. <laughs> Bearded Manu. Right, 
so we'll grab the rest of these and bugger it we will grab the rest of these as well some more diamonds some more gold in here we have some gel sacks some deep shrooms um what else is growable oh yeah me have the growable stuff's outside isn't it in there put you in there put some deep shrooms in there um so that's storage done here but a little bird did tell me that we can build on this let's see if this is true or not looks like we can so we will take some of the storage with us as well. The birds. So, um... some of the poo uh, take the sulfur and the salt and the rubber just in case tech I should to know if I was using camera right poo 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 We'll take some of these as well, actually. Vital signs stabilizing. So if I knife this, I can put replant two of them. See if this building thing works or not. Um, this looks like a nice storage room. Hi back, Shatten Aaron, you're all fucking cuties. Ah, oh, you're all so cute. There we go. I can. I can build lockers and stuff. Oh. We will fill this up with useful stuff. Make me sick. So we got marble melon seeds, we got gel sacks. We need bits of the other plants. In fact, if I could build in here, I can just build a planter in here. And just have a mobile food supply. Well, food and water, actually. So, get some potatoes. Get some bulbar tree. Get some lantern fruit. Can I plant the lantern fruit, or do I actually need... Right. I actually need... 
bits, but I can plant the Chinese potato. So, tree sample of soil, I just need to hit the actual tree, and it might give me a sample eventually. No, maybe stab a fruit. Right, that tree could fuck off then. It's gone now. So we'll do bubble tree and Chinese potato and the marble melons because they all work. Um, we'll grab some more poop for the poop reactor. We'll grab my spare power cell. And then we will grab some of these mushrooms and stuff out here. So grab deep shroom. We'll grab We're just filling this thing up now. What? I will test this theory about building a planter inside build one against this wall or something. Indoor grow bed. Yep, I could build them. We're gonna have one say here. Just need four titanium for it. Four. Bye Kelly. Have fun talking to the little ones. There we go. Right. So, let's grab your grow outside, but you will grow inside. So, two marble melons, two bubbles, and fruit potato. So, mobile food, that will all grow in time, I just need the other stuff that grows outside now. So we've got gel sacks, we've got deep shrooms, I need acid shrooms and samples of the weeds. So, give me you. There's knife gone. Knife. Two samples of creep vine and ow. Acid mushroom spores. Oh, it's the actual spores I need, not the mushrooms, isn't it? Yeah, I need spores for them, so... That should do. where all the plant samples can go for growing plants when we're there because we will need a bunch of those 
There we go. I might try planting one of those things as well. Just to see if it's possible. So we've got seed clusters, we've got normal seed vines, we've got those, we've got the two different kinds of mushrooms. And we've got some poop, the poop reactor. Um, what else shall we take? Anything? Is there anything useful we could take with us? Um, bed. We should take the bed and our ship decoration with us. Um, other than that, we're not going to need radiation helmets. Don't think we'll need anything else here, so... Stock up on food and drink. And then... I'm going to put this on the submarine as well. Don't tell Kellyfish, but she's been made into water. There we go. We'll go and put these on the big submarine and then we will head down into the trench. Did I leave anything in the storage on this I might want to take with me? I'm not going to be back here for a while. Oh yeah, tree sample. That'll do. We'll put you Welcome aboard, Captain. inside the docking area so you can like charge up and stuff. Build me bed. There we go. Oh yeah, titanium and fibre mesh. Oh well. Got fibre mesh. Oh, I need a piece of titanium, Donna. Blech. And build. Put my poster up over here. rotation for this thing always annoys me because it's left on the d-pad which is the same button to change what you've got equipped and will it not actually let me place it rubbish right go in the locker then so we are stocked up we have supplies, we have building materials, trying to lock everything down. We've got our prawn suit with the drill bits and everything on. Lower deck is closed, you're closed. We shall save the game. 
and then we shall head to the trench to where we can build our base or start to anyway So, it's saving. Let's go. So, turn engine on. Turn. Oh, we got cameras. Cool. Uh, so running. Where are lights? Lights, lights, lights. Or do I literally have to come off them and do it this way? There. And away we go. Oh, it's got proximity warnings as well. Cool. I keep pressing that button by accident. By the end of the game now, I'm going to end up with loads of screenshots of stupid shit. To negotiate my way around all of these. This thing is pretty fast though, considering. even control it while I'm using these other cameras. Alright, that's pretty cool. I have like multiple other cameras I can use to like help manoeuvre and stuff if I want to. Right, so, beacon is down this way. This is the awkward manoeuvring bit. Ah, it's got a horn. Right, can I have the lights back on? Please. Oh yeah, it's because I'm in silent running, isn't it? Um, I need to... 
turn you off there. So I am looking for where the brine stuff starts. Then I know I'm going in the right direction. There we go. Oh, the fuck hit me. Whatever it was, it wasn't very big. Nice, now I get a warning though. Shit me up for a few seconds. There we go. Oh, it must be one of those warpers. 500 meters. There is brine stuff. We're heading in the right direction. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's those shocker things, isn't it? Look at it. Right. Let's go fix some of the hole, shall we? Still doing it. Bugger it, we're just leaving. If we get further this way, I'll be out of their territory and they'll leave me alone a bit. needed to make it past the horrible squid guys we are fine I've got diving gear on the fire might be another problem but mm. trying to avoid the squid dudes Yeah, I might want to fix that fire. <coughs> fire detected. Where is fire? <coughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I know. Fire extinguished. Air scrubbers initiated. This is going well. Now we just need to avoid angry octopus dudes. And then we're good to go. I think we're past them. Which direction is... The tree. Oh, there's one over there, it looks glitched out. 
So, where's the beacon for tripods, trench? Where is the beacon for tree base? Down and left, so. Once I'm a bit further away from the octopus dudes, I will go out and fix the broken hull. I just don't want to get eaten by one of those bastards while I'm doing it. fix the holes because they are all over the place oh repair tool said repair it. There. Yep. Yeah. They messed us up a fair bit. See what the scan says. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Scan says we've still got some fronts near the top. Ah, there. Yeah, they messed me up a fair bit. Right. Now we're good. Now, has any of my food grown? 75%. And get some potato. Uh, and then stab the other melon. Three, four. There we go, good for food and water for a bit. And now we continue. Engine powering up. So I need to go down and to the left. And that will take us to the fancy tree. There it is, straight ahead of us. We're far down now, are we? Not even at thirteen hundred. So, we'll head in this direction because I am building my base or in this direction. 
with a nice flat bit. No. Cavitating is bad. Here we go. Here is where we shall build our new home. Oh yeah, engine off. Engine powering down. Still got 82% power as well. We're all good. Now, we need to build, first of all, um, an entrance, and we need to build power in there. So, we need a multi-purpose room, which is six titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. And to build the bioreactor, we need... Because I can just put food in the bioreactor if it comes to it. Uh, a wiring kit and lubricants. So lubricants is from... Plants, wiring kit is silver. Hi. Yeah, I can build like a small base here so I need to build a planter bed first actually because some of these plants I'll need to like start growing so is the outdoor bed yeah once I've got plants and stuff sorted out here I can get a new base going out here so indoor grow bed cheek 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 Where's the outdoor grow bed gone? Am I being thick? Or is it one of those ones where I actually have to be outside for it to show up? So we are in the process of making a new base. I just need somewhere to grow my plants, so... Fabricator radio. Yeah, you don't work. Reactors. Your exterior grow bed. That's what I needed. Need to make a couple of these. This will give us the stuff that we need to be able to make batteries and things like that. So. In this one. Because we can grow all the mushrooms and stuff in them. From them we can get batteries and lubricant and all that stuff. So, we've got two D rooms there. So we can get all the seeds and stuff from the other one and see if we can build, if we can grow from these things. Dee 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 dee. This is a pretty good area for building a base though, it's all nice and flat around here. So, this one. One, two, three, four. Oh! 
I can grow the blood things. Cool. So we'll build, we'll grow some creep vines, and we'll grow two of the blood things. And then we will grow all the mushrooms and stuff in the other one. So grab you. And then we need... Grab all of this. So you can grow me another blood plant. In here we will have. One, two, three, four acid mushrooms. Two, three, four deep mushrooms. One, two, three, four gel sacks. And that leaves us plenty if there's any other plants that we need to grow for any reason. What else are we needing to make? So we start at the base then, shall we? Uh, uh, take you to make... Ah, I know what we need to build. Fabricator, titanium gold, and a table coral sample. So I've got one titanium. Please tell me I didn't forget table coral, otherwise I am screwed. Gold. Don't have any in these boxes. Is there any table coral out here? Titanium. What is this way? Do you look like lava? Yep. Although there was table coral on the big outside bit. Where the thermal vents were, so I might just have to go there to get some. We can go exploring in the in the new mech. So first of all, build. Multi-purpose room. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Right, what time is it? Oh, it's almost seven as well. So Alex will be starting in a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do I will be finishing it here, but Next time, what we'll be doing is building our base here. So I've got food set up in the submarine if I mean need it. I have my mech made today with all the drills and everything ready for it. 
all we'll need to do is actually build and start expanding a bit. And I need to build a fabricator, so I'll build one just inside the submarine. But that will be all of our stuff sorted. And we can start exploring the bigger and nastier depths. Because I'm sure there's going to be other horrible stuff down there that's going to come after us. But for now, this is our base. And bedroom as well. So let's go and say hello to Alex, who is playing Super Mario Odyssey. Poor guy has been roped into doing all 999 moons on it, so he's going to be at it for a while, poor guy. But it is a fun game. I've played a bit of it. I do need to get it myself at some point. So I will see you all tomorrow, actually, for Dark Souls. But until then, be nice to Alex. Or be nasty to him. Whichever. I'm not bothered. <laughs> and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody. Yeah. Dark Souls.